the mast strap cover. Most of our divers here in this area use some type of mast strap cover, whether it's a nylon or even a neoprene cover like the one I use here. Even my daughter uses one that's custom made and it's got our name on it. Well, here at the store, we sell the ones that's got our logo, obviously for advertisement purposes. But the problem with these covers are they simply just slide across your strap cover. We don't use the ones that Velcro closure over it, so it does make it a little bit difficult to actually thread these onto your strap. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you a super simple way that you can thread it on with ease so that you can start using your brand new strap cover. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now as I stated in the teaser, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install a mast strap cover to your brand new mast. Now before we do that, I do want to state there's several different types of mast strap covers. This one here particularly just slides on. As you can see, it just opens up on each end and you slide your strap through it. They do make the ones that are velcroed across the top or the bottom to where you unvelcro kind of sandwich over your strap and of course you can velcro it down then they also make the ones the sl slap strap style where they actually replace your strap altogether. so you'd remove this strap put a new strap that's got a built-in neoprene cover but the ones that we use here are the ones that just slide on and I'm gonna show you in today's video just how easy of a process it can be if you use the right tools so with that being said let's get started all right, guys, so I've actually got one of our customer's mask here. Uh, this is a new open water student. He just purchased the Mares X Vision, same mask that I actually use, and he got a strap cover to go with it. Now, a cool fun fact about Lake Hickory Scuba, anytime you buy Mares mask from us, we are going to give you free of charge a mask strap cover to go with it, and they come in several different colors. This one just happens to be a two-tone, which is a royal blue and a navy blue on the back, and so I'm going to show you quickly how easily it is to install if you have the proper tools. And the proper tool that I'm going to be using, of course, is a long set of hemostats. Now, you can use a smaller set of hemostats as well, or just a long pair of needle nose pliers, but these right here make very easy work of installing a strap cover onto your mask. So all I'm going to do is simply pull his mask out, and the first thing that I've got to do, of course, is get the strap off of the mask itself. Now, this uh, little piece here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. This is just a tag for the mask. Go ahead and get it out of my way here. And I'm going to start on either side. It doesn't really matter. I'll probably just start here on the right side because I am right-handed, so it's a little bit easier. So if your little keeper is holding down the strap, you're going to simply pull that out. And then we're going to squeeze in on the buckles here to completely remove the existing strap. So once I get it through the buckle like that, I am going to remove this keeper. And I want to make sure that it's oriented properly. You're going to notice there's a small side and a large side. It's just important to know when you go to reinstall it, which way it goes. Then I'm going to lay the strap out flat, make sure it's not twisted in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to go ahead and get the strap cover out of the package in here. Now, like I said before, these are two-tone colors. So you'll see there's navy blue on one side and royal blue on, this, on the other side. So you can really pick and choose what color you want here. Here. All I'm going to do is take the hemostats and I'm going to stick them through from the right side until they come out the other end, just like that. Simply open them up, pinch onto the strap itself, and then I'm going to simply just pull it through until it's cleared. Once it's cleared, then I can grab it with my hand and very easily I can slot it into position, just like that. Flatten it out, make sure there's no twist in it, make sure everything's good to go. Now I'm going to reinstall my little keeper. Now, like I said, this is where it's important to make sure it's oriented properly. We're going to go down through the large side first, just like so, and then we are going to stick it in the buckle. Now, this is the part that a lot of people tend to have trouble with, and sometimes you do have to stick something small in there just to get it started, but once it starts up, you can simply push on it, get a hold of it, and it'll pop right through just like that. And then you can take the excess, stick it back into the keeper. Now we're going to go through the small side of the keeper. And just like that, we have reinstalled the strap onto the mask. And very easily, we installed his strap cover as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this mask cleaned up and get it pre-prepped for him so that he can come and get it and uh, use it during his class tonight. But just like that, with the proper tools, just a long set of needle nose pliers, or in this case, a long set of hemostats, you too can very easily install a strap cover that slides through without too much difficulty. 
Just like that, guys. It's very easy to install any of these strap covers that we sell or if you've purchased one online. Uh, it doesn't matter what you get. I just use the ones that say instructors. Obviously, we have the ones here that we sell. It's got the Lake Hickory Scuba logo, and we do give these away too. So anytime you buy a Mario's mask from us, you're going to get a free strap cover as well. But if you find one that's custom made for you, it's got whatever saying or name on it that you want to do, use this tip or technique here to install it on your mask with ease. Now, they do make the ones that Velcro Velcro open, so it's got a strip of Velcro at the top. It just opens. You go over the top of your strap, and it Velcro's closed. And then they also have the ones that actually replace your actual strap of the mask. So it kind of goes through it and holds it in place too. Sometimes you'll hear them called as slap straps as well. But either way, this is a super simple, easy trick that I hope helps you out in the future. But if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you think it helped you or it may help somebody in the future, definitely share this video. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop me a comment down below and I'll be glad to answer your questions the best I can and as quick as I can as well. But that's going to do it for today. Until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.